Oh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Subnautica. Now, nothing in particular is going on, and I'm not really doing anything, so don't get too excited. Um, I'm just kind of futzing around with the stuff I've been futzing around with. Uh, but I, I guess I did want to talk a little bit um, about the Subnautica rumored expansion. And I, I guess it's... So it's not officially confirmed. Um, the lead developer, Charlie Cleveland, I believe, um, has been talking about it and showing stuff that they are working on, an unnamed project for Subnautica. Uh, but nothing has been confirmed and nothing is in, you know, set in stone yet. Um, which, you know, is whatever. Uh, but it does, it does look like Unless they decide to just scrap the entire project, that there'll be a Subnautica expansion at some point. Um, I believe the wiki uh, talks about it coming out sometime early next year, which would be pretty cool. Uh, but you know, I'm not I'm not holding my breath. But it does it does sound pretty cool. Um, everything being discussed thus far is uh, the Arctic biome which uh, and like a female protagonist so if I had to guess it looks like it'll be like a standalone expansion like it won't have anything to do with what we've done here so you'll be able, it'll be like a separate story mode which I assume will be you know she crash landed somewhere farther away than what we did and has to find her own way off the planet maybe she doesn't get the Karar I don't know. I don't know how that'll work. So we'll see. But it, they've been posting, um, you know, some older artwork they think will work for it. Some new stuff that they've been working on. And like I said, it's all it all looks pretty cool, you know. So I try not to think too much about it because, like I said, if anything, it'll be, uh, <laughs> you know. So we're. Uh, we're in we're end of end of April here, so seven months at best, maybe. That's if it comes out like January. <laughs> so you know whatever. Uh, and in, until then, I don't plan on doing a lot. Uh, in Subnautica, like I've just kind of been dorking around here, like I said. Um, because there isn't. There isn't a whole lot to do. Uh, like right now, I'm just I'm fixing I'm fixing power supply problems to one of my scan bases, um, or trying to at least. So I actually I came up relatively close to the surface, put some uh, solar panels up there, and then I'm gonna try to connect them to the base because they were not working super well before. But I don't. I don't know if this is going to work out well. So let's come down here. Because that tree is really high up. Oh, actually it does. Hey, look at that. So it looks like we'll be able to. we got to get to Dune Scan Room. Um, yeah, let's put one over here. Because I think this is the... This is the scan room that's been losing power and giving me the futsy messages about not having adequate power <laughs> which is understandable it was over 200 meters deep with one solar panel so i don't think it was i don't think it was maintaining power unfortunately but it is the one that keeps track of those dune reapers which i want so we'll get that we'll get that set up um yeah but other than that you know we've We've done pretty much everything there is to do uh, in game. I I want to say we've pretty thoroughly conquered Subnautica. Uh, I guess I still need the scan. Uh, we got we got the Reaper, didn't we? We got the Reaper. It's been it's been a while since I played, <laughs> honestly. Um, I think we scanned the Reaper. 
data bank. Terrible fauna. Leviathans. Yeah, we got the Reaper. Uh, so we, we could get the Ghost and the Sea Dragon at some point, but that sounds awful. It sounds like the worst time ever. <laughs> uh, but you never know. I might actually have to end up building more than that. Uh, let's see. They actually go fairly far. Like, I, I think this one is too close, but whatever. I like, I like a nice, you know, symmetry to hop in between these. Um... Over here, I guess. Oh, just out. Uh, well, what about over here then? This one's a little bit closer, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put this one over here, and then I gotta grab more materials. So yeah, Arctic Biome stuff looks neat. Uh, it's mostly just a lot of creature designs right now. And that's, you know, some of the most fun stuff in Subnautica is the, the beast designs, the monster designs. It looks real good. And I think that's, a, that's an eclipse. Here comes the sun again. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, if you want to, if you want to see the the stuff they're actively working on, like you can go to uh, Mr. Cleveland's Twitter account, and he's posted pictures and stuff on there. Um, I know a lot of other YouTubers have talked about it, but it, you know, like I said, nothing is strictly confirmed. Um, just the fact that they they haven't announced it, like that they're actually working on it at all. He's just kind of teasing at it. Uh, I think it doesn't bode particularly well. Yeah, it means there's some there's some kind of hang up to what they're doing. And you know, they they don't want to say yes, this is what we're working on. That reef back is humping my cyclops here. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, Mr. Reef back. We're trying to fix stuff, sir. Oh, we're almost done. Maybe two more? Uh, yeah, maybe two more. Maybe one more. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Uh, did I have other gold up here? Things look slanted to you. No more gold. I'm always worried about falling out <laughs> of the uh, the dang cyclops. It's happened so many times already. It's always it's always real nerve wracking. Falling through it. Yeah, there hasn't been uh, there hasn't been any patches or anything um, since like early March. You know, just some bug fixes. Uh, I think that fixed the uh, the rocket launch and get the achievements and stuff like that. Uh, but other than that, yeah, like they've they've just been sitting on it, which is good. Um, although my my bug is still in the game. Although I guess it, I didn't double check to see if it was fixed and. You know, it might be something where you have to start a new game. But if you, uh, if you turn off the escape pod, or the life pod, uh, beacon, every time you load up the game, it will, it'll be on there, but it'll be, you know, frozen, so it'll be in the same corner of your vision. 
Those reapers are yelling a bunch. But, you know, that's not a big thing. That's just a, a pretty minor UI bug. Let's see. We're going to put this bad boy over here. Boop. Nah, I don't like that. Can we put it there so it's not stupid? The answer is no. Okay. Fair enough. Hey! And it does go far enough. Can we... No? Okay. It's fine. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, it's like a bioreactor in here, too. Oh, that'll be okay. I think that'll be fine. Get out of here, boomerangs. You don't belong in here. Perfect. And then, you know, I might... I might keep doing silly stuff. Um, I don't know. Is there anything... Anything you guys want to see? Anything you want me to do? I mean, I'm always... I'm a little hesitant to do... Insane stuff, like, you know, scanning the sea dragon and the ghost, just because this is our hardcore playthrough. So, you know, if, if there was no penalty for death, I am much more willing to go play with the big fish. <laughs> but, you know, losing, losing everything we've done here is not super appealing just to kind of screw around, but, you know, whatever. You know, if the, if the new expansion ends up being, uh, kind of a standalone experience, I guess that's not a big deal. But then, I don't know, maybe maybe it ends up being something where you, you know, they expand this map and you can travel to the Arctic biome. You know, or there's some kind of I don't know, like, quick travel between them? Like, you, you go to a certain part of the map and there's a precursor gate and you can go between them? Like, that might be interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It would be be pretty cool to see what they're what they're noodling about, but you know, I imagine it's something they've probably been working on for a little bit. If they have a less than a year timeline, uh, considering how long Subnautica itself was in development, you know, this game was in development for years. Let's see you over there, Reaper. Yeah, and they had the early access up, and we could screw around in there. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But, yeah, so that's that's all I wanted to talk about. Talk about the expansion a little bit. Uh, just because I started I started seeing a lot of, of uh, other YouTubers and stuff talk about, you know, the other Subnautica YouTubers talk about the uh, expansion and stuff, and you know, just tons of videos about it. Where did you come from? You bad boy? Out of nowhere? Where are you at? There you are. Don't you big dummy, get out of here. Where did you... <laughs> Where did he come from? Nowhere is the correct answer, and I'm mad at the scan room now. Shush. You bad boy. Yeah, you're so loud. Oh my goodness. We gotta go see what's going on with the scanner room now, because it's not doing its job and <laughs> keeping me safe. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. What did I just ask you? I'm gonna drain all my batteries. You wiener. Hmm. 
you're one of the good scan bases too. You have you have thermal power. You couldn't keep track of that guy? Yeah, so like now that now that we're not under immediate threat of being eaten by reapers. And he really came out of nowhere. Um yeah, I saw, you know, everyone talking about it, so I started looking into it. I, I thought maybe something was confirmed, but no, it was just, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Cleveland talking about it a little bit. Uh, we were actually very close to the sea floor. Uh, actually, we should be okay going up to the front. Ow. 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 They did they did update the uh the damage stuff. So this is new. This is a new one. Does it actually No, it doesn't put any water down here. But yeah, he was just talking a little bit about it and you know, like I said, nothing nothing confirmed. Uh, like in the pictures and stuff he's posted, it's unconfirmed Subnautica pro project. Nothing, nothing confirmed yet. You know. There we go. You know, which is fine, but I was, I, you know, piqued my interest. I was real curious, uh, cause I don't, I don't spend a lot of time, you know, keeping track of what's going on. Uh, on the forums and stuff like that. I'm trying to keep up with that stuff. Oh. This... Scan area is not doing anything. Apparently, I was getting stuff. Magnetite. Okay, so the scan room isn't even up and running. That's why. That's why that reaper ate my face. Well, let's let's do that real quick. <laughs> that guy's real close over here. All right. I have I have magnetite. Oh god, what was it? Copper? Copper magnetite? I do believe Oh, I needed four. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's all right. Let's see if we can't get the Reaper to pop up. Because that's the big problem. I mean, he's not that, he's like right here. He's not that far away. All right, let's uh, here, let's scan for a heat area. I'll go grab that stuff, and hopefully that'll update the uh, update the scanner. I'm gonna find that big loud idiot. Uh oh. Golden. I think all the titanium's upstairs still. Boop, boop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you yelling over there. I like this location though. Maybe I'll do more over here. Build this area up a little bit. Oh, more hot spots. All right. Boom. Pop that off. Uh. We do that. 
No settlers. Maybe if I go look. Look at the Reaper. Oh, I just. Hmm. That's not with the right cameras. Uh, I guess I have no way of knowing, huh? This is one of the last ones I built. So it's got to be one of the last cameras, right? Huh. I mean, that, that kind of feels right. Maybe if I go look at it, it'll tell me what camera it is. No, it doesn't, huh? I mean, I could, I could just turn on their stupid pings and figure it out, but it's kind of a pain in the butt too. Well, this is annoying. I hate it when they can't find the stupid reaper that's right there. Uh, we'll try one more thing before I resort to figuring out what the camera drones are. Uh, go to sleep real quick. Take a little nap. With all that shouting. And see if that helps. That might. That might update the thing enough. The scan room. Alright. Alright. Hey, Mr. Warper. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. No, of course not. Aww. Let's see if this connects. It's frustrating, guys. Uh, it's definitely the wrong camera. Let's try 20. Oh, that's right, because I built... Did I build two? Okay, 20 is correct. Yeah, I forgot I built the scan base at the back of the Aurora after this one. Alright, let's see if we can get the Reaper to spawn. Well, I mean, he is spawned. He's over here. He attacked me. Where is he at, though? There he is. Hey, big boy. Yeah, he's... He's literally 200 meters away from my base. And you can't freaking Can't freaking pick him up? There he is. All right. Well, whatever. I'll. I'm gonna keep messing around with this, trying to get it to work. <laughs> uh, cause this was my goal. With all these scan bases was essentially the tag of the Reapers. Actually, that would be a cool item, like a uh, an actual like uh like gun or something that you could tag. Like it's a. It's a harpoon gun. You could shoot it at fish, and it would tag them. You know, it would have like a little like RFD or RFID tag. 
that it would stick into. You could put it on like the Reapers and stuff like that or whatever. And then it would just always be on your your scan HUD. Like that would be that'd be real neat. You could also put it, you know, like if you wanted to do whatever whatever crazy, you know, stuff that you do, whatever fiction you make in your own head. You know, tag a a, a sea treader and track its path or whatever. It's migration, you know, stuff like that. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Alright guys, but I'm going to keep trying to mess with this and get it to work. And uh, we'll see you in the